respected chairman sri am lakshman reddy sir respected executive director sri g chandrasekhar yadav sir other management member in absentia hods deans teaching and non teaching staff member a very good afternoon to all of you and i would like to wish on behalf of me on behalf of management a happy teachers day to all of you so as you know teachers day is not a uh, no a new thing or this is the only one year we are celebrating and before me they were telling what is the purpose of celebration of teachers day but i would like to add some more points why this teachers day are celebrated and it will just refresh your mind to understand why it is important to be a teacher and how it is a key responsibility we need to play in the society as shouldering the responsibility as a teacher so as we know everyone that today is the birthday of dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan and it was also informed to you he was born in 5th september 1888 and there is a place called tiruttali which is in tamil nadu now he is belongs to a telugu family so this i think the parents would have gone and settled there so uh, that was the birth place and that was the birth day and in a very humble way because he when he was born he was not belongs to any rich family or where he could afford a good education for himself or do something good for himself <clears throat> so he had started his career with a very noble beginning and he started or he joined as a lecturer and he started his career in this teaching profession and once somebody joins as a lecturer because you all are the teaching fraternity what is the highest post in the teaching profession you know that what is the highest post hod principal vice chancellor is the highest post okay so that is the highest post one teacher can aim or dream for so he started his career as a lecturer soon he become a assistant professor and followed with all the subsequent designations adding to its credibility and soon he was the vice chancellor for andhra university when he was working as a vice chancellor when his tenure was over then he was called by a vice chancellor who was the vice chancellor for banaras hindu university bhu and that present vice chancellor of bhu is giving a call to dr sarvapalli and saying that i am going to retire please come and take over this vice chancellor post of this university he had not applied he had been invited and given this post then he served as a vice chancellor again for bhu then again he was invited by the delhi university to serve as a vice chancellor that is the highest post one teacher can dream about and he worked as a successful vice chancellor for different different university that was his academic journey and during the tenure of as an academician he had written so many books and two books are very popular one is what the idealistic view of bhagavad gita and the idealistic view of life these are all two books which are all very popular in the market and uh, because of that he got lot of popularity then when he was you see how he was born what was his native place and what was his financial background of his parents and soon he is grown up he started his career as an academician and reached to the highest echelon of a teaching professional post with a very small span of time and discharged his duty with utmost professionalism that was the gateway for him to enter into the politics again through invitation he is not a politician he is a teacher so he had been invited to take the position of first vice president of india he completed his tenure subsequently he was the president of india second president of india and i understood during those days the president of india used to get a salary of 10000 rupees those days out of this 10000 rupees 
2500 rupees he used to keep for him that was his expenditure for his house all this thing belongings and all okay remaining 7500 rupees till he was the president he used to donate it to the pradhan mantri charitable trust is there he used to donate that what type of magnanimity and what type of dynamic person and the leader we had and during his tenure of the presidency because he was a teacher when he was a teacher he was very popular among his students and he was very popular among his friends and colleagues so on his birthday as he was the president all the teachers his friends his colleagues and students they went and they approached him sir we would like to celebrate your birthday because you, you are the president now and you were our teacher then his answer was if you would like to celebrate my birthday don't celebrate my birthday because you have come to me not i am the president of india you have come to me because of the affinity what you are having for your teacher you have come to me as a teacher because of my past mentoring because of the past time what i have spent with you so you have come for that so respect all the teacher so celebrate my birthday instead of celebrating it as my birthday celebrate it as teachers day from henceforth we celebrating 5th september as a teachers day let us have a huge regards and respect and have a big round of applause such a visionary teacher we had in our country so there are so many different professions why teaching professionals are so special so it's not like that as we have chosen this profession that is why it is special there are so many reasons and there are n number of reasons to justify and to tell to everyone and everybody must be knowing it why teaching is a noble profession i will coin us one simple one two examples let's say somehow one engineer is not good one civil engineer is not good okay so what maximum will happen so two three bridges or eight ten houses whatever he has built it will demolish okay because he doesn't have a good subject knowledge some okay with some sadness 50 to 100 people may die also that is the maximum damage what he can give it to the country okay now imagine one uh, doctor is not good doesn't have a good knowledge on the medicine or the human body and all what kind of damage he can give he may kill around 100 people okay before their tenure comes okay he will do because he, he doesn't know how to give the proper diagnostic and proper treatment this is the maximum damage he can give now you imagine a situation if the teacher is not good he is not discharging his duty properly in the class generation to generation the legacy of spoiling the student will continue that is why teachers are called backbone of the country no other professionals are called the backbone of the country why teachers are called because we are building the youth we are building the nation we are building we are dealing with the youth we are building them we are inculcating good values good thoughts and making and nurturing them as a good human being that is why teachers roles are very very critical very very sensitive in this digital era now this guruji kind of ashramas are not there it is a digital era all are smart teachers are smart classrooms are start, smart and students are smart plus so that is why we need to cope up our skill set upgrade ourselves see to it we are standing one step ahead among all this so that you know the student will start following uh, whatever the instructions we tell to them and whatever we would like to educate them so in this junction as you all have joined as a teaching professional i would like to congratulate you all and for choosing this profession and nowadays teaching is not a chance it is a choice those who are having the choice to work in this profession you can only can succeed because you know so many five years are there so many extra classes are there okay sometimes there might be a situation we might have to go to get and stand there <laughs> so so our responsibilities are volume variety and velocity 
all this type of responsibility has multiplied. So different type of responsibility, different type of roles we need to play. But you all have done a very good job. I appreciate for that. And always, I personally have witnessed whenever there is an ups and down, you all have, you all have come forward and stand together for all of us and for the betterment of the institution. We really salute you and we really thank you for the bottom of our heart and whatever you have done for the institution. Always I will have a special regards on my mind and heart the people who continue their service in a same institution. Okay. What I feel strongly, if I have decided to work as a teacher, okay, why not in the same place? So we don't want to become like a rolling stone where there will not be any credibility. And you go, you will be like a passing train. You will go and you will go to other college. That kind of thoughts should not be there. So that is why I really appreciate the faculty members, those who are continuously discharging their duty with the St. Martin. I could able to see and I could able to feel so happy and I was sharing my happiness to the management also. We have the faculty members, those who are working more than five years, those who are working more than 10 years. And there are some faculty members who are all working more than 14 years too. So let us have a big round of those people. Those who have decided that St. Martin is their career and St. Martin, rather than career, I will say that St. Martin is their destinated home. And that is why they are with great patience and perseverance and with a lot of interest, they are all continuing and we look forward and wish you all the people, all the very best so that now you should continue our your journey along with the growth of St. Martin. So, as I will come back to my previous point, why teaching professionals are no special? Okay. See, there are so many other professionals are there. Take an example of a factory. Okay. So let's say somebody is working in a factory or somebody will, as an entrepreneur, you will put a factory. Okay. So once it is a factory, means it is a business model. There will be product, there will be customer and the product will be going into the market and the profit the owners will be getting. And what the society gets? Society gets the pollution. Because once you put a factory means definitely it will generate the pollution. That is what the green energy we were talking about. That, that is what the environmental protectiveness we are talking about nowadays. Okay. Now that is one set of profession what we can choose. Okay. Another one is what? Somebody can come as a teaching professional like us and do their duties here itself. Okay, so now how it is different from a factory to a teaching professional? So I differentiate in that way. So factory I understood, I made you to understand. Okay, now the teaching professional, I treat them as a tree. And what tree gives? Tree gives fruits. Fruits, what the teachers get? Any salary you get as a fruit you get some remuneration that is all fruit that is for you and for your family. What the society get? From the tree what society gets? Shadow and fresh oxygen that is for everyone that is the fragrance one tree can give. Okay that is the need of the hour we are hunting and struggling for the fresh oxygen. So the teacher or the person who are choosing teaching as a career this is what the fragments they leave for the society. This is what the oxygen they give for the society to breathe and survive. So that is the reason I feel proud personally that I am a teaching professional and I feel all of you should be owing that kind of ownership, the profession what you have chosen because you have to prove that you have come here not because of chance, it is because of your choice. So and you all are doing really great job and we appreciate for that and we wish you all the very best and again I would like to congratulate you and wish you a happy teacher's day to all of you once again. So before I conclude, I wanted to bring some of my personal thought to you because you know Teachers means it is not like a person to whom you see inside the classroom. 
Okay, so the teacher could be anyone. The teacher could be your father, the teacher could be your mother, the teacher could be your friend, the teacher could be anyone who is educating you. There are two types of education it is required for every individual. One is what? The book is knowledge. You read book and tell this. Another one is the knowledge to survive and succeed. And that you will get it from the mentors. Might be friend, might be uncle, might be father, might be mother or might be anyone the society where we are living. It might be your colleague, it might be your HOD, it might be anyone. So in this junction, I always remember our honorable chairman sir, because you know everyone, he is a sports personalities and what not. Okay, so five engineering colleges, pharmacy colleges, group of institution, now Arundhati Medical Colleges, all these things are there. You imagine a person, if imagine a situation that you have not seen sir, you have not met with him. Okay. You imagine by seeing or by reading all this credibility and achievement, what you feel? Okay. Will you dare enough to approach that person? You will be thinking, okay, that person will be so high profile, very hard to talk, very hard to approach. We may not get his appointment, but you see our honorable chairman in front of you, how simple, how humble, how easily accessible, approachable and he is a person always with smiling face. So we learn so much of thing from you sir, how you maintain, how you maintain the simplicity always in your life and how you are always approachable, available for everyone. Really a great salute to you and I request everyone to give a big round of applause for our chairman sir. Who gives or who shares the fragments of learning directly or indirectly to everyone. This is the message it is from sir with his living style that how the person should be. It is not like that what material you have. It is not like that what, how much money you have. It is talking about how a human being should be. That is what the lesson we used to learn and we appreciate sir and we always thankful to you for all the time you have come and you have educated us and sir whenever you meet sir I think many of you would have got the chance to interact always he talks about what you know about not only sports he talks about about your fitness how you will be disease free what you have to do what you have to do with your limited time what you have to do with almost nil expenditures what sir says to you what is a cycle how much the 4 5 thousand rupees we get a cycle that's what he says he doesn't he never advise anyone go to gym that that modern gym electronics gym i have seen go there take members anytime you have seen like this this is what the you know nobility this is what the simplicity we used to learn then another leader always where my maximum time goes of learning from our honorable executive director Sri Ji Chandrasekhar Yadav sir. So as always I say, if you see a movie, on the screen you see what? Hero, heroines, then cinema, how the cinematography and all. But there is a big mind of all this, how the entire system will be navigated. Who is that? He will be the director of the movie. So he is the director of the entire show. He is a you know, silent teacher. He, is, you know, he doesn't want to come forward. But always he wanted to do all wonders by keeping himself behind this scene. So thank you sir all the time for guiding us, educating us and how to take this institution to the next level. And under your leadership institution is signing so good and people are so happy. And we look forward to continue our journey under your leadership. So in this junction, as the teacher, the only, uh, only and only one basic attribute is re required to become a good and successful teacher is what? Willing to learn. Every day is a learning opportunity. Every day. See, I start my day and once I end my day, I ask myself, what I have learned today? What is the lesson? What I have learned? So that no, I can refine myself and tomorrow I will try to have an upgraded version of myself. What I have learned from academics, what I have learned about technology, what I have learned from the problems, what I have learned, what, could, what I could do best, what I could do best, what I could do best. That is the thought. So I request everyone, as you all have decided to become a teaching professional, 
let us inculcate those good habits and those good thoughts so that your destiny and your career both will shine and we all will be years and years we will be celebrating along with you as grand teachers day and this teachers day are really going to be very grand for which i would like to thank uh, the magnanimity of the management because whatever the proposal i put for for them starting from the lunch for all even the gift items whatever and as you know sir martin started creating a history of giving the gold coins initially we started with silver coin and i was telling to you let us achieve something for the college then we will convert the silver into gold now that legacy is continuing today also we are looking forward to see all the prize achievers and felicitate them with a gold coin and a memento and there are some games and surprises are also waiting for you so thanks for listening to me and have a great day ahead and again once again i would like to wish you a happy teachers day to all of you